Debbie Dubois here with Intuit Oracle, and we're going to pull another Angel Oracle card. Uh, I've said before that when it comes to angels, it's my own personal opinion that angels are actually aspects of us, and they hold frequency and vibrations that can be very helpful. Um, you just have to be aware that you don't want to give your personal power away um, but ask for assistance like you would for a dear friend. And I think that that really is part of the awakening process is when you get to a place where you know that all of the people that populate your life, well, there we go. This one's already up. We've got Hadriel. The people that are in your life are all your team members that help hold space. And um, the space is, is one of an empowerment journey. So these angels are our friends. As long as you don't find yourself being approached by any energies that are trying to take your power from you and tell you to sit down and worship them, right? So um, Hadriel is there to help you awaken to three ascension or integration attitudes within you, love, gratitude, and surrender. Now, when I wanna, what I want to say in the word surrender is not surrendering to another higher power but surrendering to your own inner power and to find love and gratitude for your inner being that's within you. Um, this guardian of the gates of the east wind awakens love, brings joy, identifies fears, helps you identify, identify fears, and will listen attentively if you wish to um, talk to him about what's on your mind um but it's interesting hold the line is his little words of wisdom and i just want to say hold the line in any circumstance where you look to other beings to help you um and just make sure that they're hold, holding the energy and not trying to tell you what to do and in this case look at listens attentively sometimes we really need a good friend to listen and we don't have anyone there Hadriel will show up for you in that way if you need it. 